Today I want to talk about Adobe Fuse and Mixamamo. So if you just go into the Creative Cloud, you can find Adobe Fuse and just launch it. Now Adobe Fuse, like I've mentioned, is actually looking like Adobe's not going to sponsor it anymore. But for now, if you download it, you can use it. So as you can see here, you have a whole range of presets of various heads, female and male. Uh, you basically select the head that you want and then you basically start picking and choosing body parts to match with it and then afterwards we can do some customization that you'll see in a second so right now we're just going to add each body part and I'll just start fast forwarding this because it's a little tedious and now you can see we have a customized tab and here's where you can do all kinds of different sliders to change the overall proportions of the body that you've selected which is kind of cool so you can give it more musculature less uh, shorten or lengthen the arms it's a pretty robust slider system which is kind of cool um, so you just kind of just tweak whatever you want for whatever your needs are now I think I mentioned in my write-up to the detail of these models you know, you're not going to be a hero uh, level figure, but this will work actually pretty well for a mid to background character. There's a randomized button as well, which is kind of nice if you just want it to be completely random for what you're doing. You can actually do facial blend shapes for expressions, uh, which is really kind of cool. And then you basically have a clothing tab, and there's a whole host of pre set up shirts and short sleeves, t-shirts, jackets, uh, which is pretty cool. And then what you can do is you can alter these as you need with the texture part. So you can see here once you select whatever object that you want you can actually change the parameters on the material but then as you go down you could actually swap out to preset uh, textiles and colors and fabrics and then even within here you can change and do sliders again to change the overall color and feeling of these uh, stockroom of clothes so it's a kind of robust for what it has for a mini library so if I wanted just like this red plaid now if we go and we'll do some jeans maybe you can see it load in and then you can see here there's a whole host of hairstyles. So if I want to give this person, let's say, this faux hawk, there you go. And you know, it's it's not perfect, but it it's pretty good. Glass eyewear, hats, beards, gloves, mustaches. So and what's nice is we can export this out later, and this is the full model that we'll get. So let's put on some canvas shoes. Okay. And maybe I don't like that color. Maybe I want it to match the shirt. So let's go back to texture, select shoes, and then just collect, you know, select the fabric. And then maybe maybe I want solid color. So let me just give it a tone. Let's see, yeah. Fabric. Yeah, let's go red kind of match his shirt. Yeah, it looks good. And now we we'll just go to Mixamo and we'll save the file. And what this will do, it will actually open up a web browser to use Mixamo. So we'll go through the cloud. Let that finish loading up. And here we go. Now what Mixamo will do is it actually has an auto rigger. So it's taking the object that we just created and it's creating a complete rig that we can use with some of its predefined animations for movement. So it takes about a couple minutes for it to process. Uh, what's cool about this though, if you have any characters that you've created, you can upload them to Mixamo as well. So here you can see, here's my character. It has a default movement that they show you to show that the rig is working. Now you can disable or enable facial blend shapes. 
Uh, you can change the skeleton's LOD, uh, especially for how detailed you want it. So full finger control, three, two, chains, uh, things of that nature. But we could just basically update the rig for anything that we've changed. And then you just basically say that you're ready to use this character and finish. So at this point, it has a bone structure you can download. Or if you want to now use some of the preset animations, click Animate. And here you have the power behind Mixamo is there's a whole range of preset animations. Some of them, you know, are better than others, but what you'll see is whatever animation you select, you can dial it. See over here on the right where he's jumping, you have jump length, over overdrive, arm space, trimming. So there's things that you can do to uh, dial in the animation that's already preset. And there's actually a pretty deep uh, amount of animations here. You see boxing, arm height, target, distance, character arm space again. And then you can just do a search. You know, they have preset uh, genres, combat, adventure. If you just want like a walk cycle here, which is what I just figured I'd demo, something simple. So the character would be walking. So you've got some that are holding things like a gun or the box, uh, boxing and moving. But here's just a simple walk cycle and you can see here you can change the overall speed of the walk we can change the stride now the overdrive is going to basically crank it up a little bit more and then now let's see overdrive then you have the arm space so the arms wider or closer to the body you can see here and then you can increase or decrease the preset uh, animation frames and then you could mirror or do in place when the person is walking if you wanted to change it differently but here you can see there's the walk cycle and this looks good enough for me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download the character and that's it so send the arrow upload character depending on where you want it to go but we're just gonna download it so here you can see different file formats, FBX or uh, Colada with the skin, without the skin, if you want a keyframe reduction, uniform, non-uniform, and then the frames per second is kinda nice, 24, 60, or 30 frames and then just click download and it'll basically prepare the file and then tell you where it is and where you want to save it. So I'm just gonna save this locally onto my machine, so I'm gonna do a save as, click in the arrow and then it's going to save it into the folder that I want where I'm basically making a collection of few slash Mixamo uh, files, files. So this is going to be a male doing a walk cycle. And then what I want to do is once this saves, I'll bring this over into Maya and we'll take a look and see how it looks in Maya. So now we'll just want to import the FBX into our Maya scene. So I'm going to import this. So let me just navigate to where I'm saving these 3D geos. So I have a folder for Fuse and Mixamo. And then here you see on the left in the outliner, everything came in, the skeleton and materials. And there's our image. And here's our scene with the basically the textures turned on. So now if I just add like a simple plane, you know, increase it just to see the walk cycle. So we know he's going to be able to go for at least like what 150 frames. But if we just scrub through, there you see he imports with the walk cycle. Everything is working perfectly and just keep looping. Let me just try to center the figure in. I think what we're seeing with the display is a little bit of probably the uh, clipping planes for how the character looks. But let's just do a simple setup with Arnold. We'll do a, uh, an HDR. Let me just lower this so the foot contact looks better. Do a test render. And there you go. Like The character looks fine. There's nothing wrong. Let's get him full in scene. Let's see. And I mean right there you got a fully rigged, fully textured character so let's just render out a frame range and just kind of see how that looks. 
I'm just going to set the uh, frame pattern and stuff like that. But you can really see like the usability of these uh, two programs could really speed in and populate, especially if you're doing things like architectural visualizations and things of that nature, populating the street scene. Uh, there's a whole range of these animations, so there's a lot that you can do with it. And for pretty quick turnaround without having to do any kind of manual work to get like these background things working. So just brought it into Adobe and got the frame range there you can see. Let me just output this out and then here's the movie. And we're zoomed in but you can see like if you kept this character to the midground or background it's pretty decent. So hopefully you like this demonstration on Adobe Fuse and Mix Mixamo. Thank you.